All right, well, you can see where I'm at. I've got the fret ends leveled, which took a lot longer than I <laughs> thought it would. It didn't take that long with the nickel frets on my last guitar, but this EVO Gold, I guess it's just a little harder. So it took a little while to get them flat. It wouldn't have taken so long if I would have been able to nip them flush first. I gotta definitely gotta get some of those uh, flush uh, fret end nippers. I had them pretty good. <laughs> width wider than the fretboard so it took a little while and then uh, i had a couple of little gaps right here in the binding that were i had blown out a little bit i mixed some some, some uh tie bond and some indian rosewood dust and made like a paste and filled that in and i've just sanded it down and now i'm ready to go ahead and attach the neck permanently so I've got this little jig I made last time i've got spaces for the frets cut out so that i can put this right here and clamp down on that. I've got some clamps ready to go. I've got a little thing of warm water just to get some glue squeeze out. I've got some little q-tips that are pointy ended. So I got this idea from Jeff Jewett on his Instagram channel. So check him out. I think that I'm ready to go. I I'm really nervous about this, but I've got to put some tape here first that will help with glue squeeze out. All right, what I want to do is take a pencil and draw underneath the fretboard right here where I don't want to put glue. Just to make sure that I don't want glue dripping off of the fretboard in the, into the guitar. So that'll kind of give me a stopping point. Okay, let me get this off. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I hope you can see my face because I have no idea what the camera is actually actually seeing right now. I think I'm ready to go, so let's do it. The last time I put I put the glue right here instead of here. So I wonder what's better. Should I put here first or here? I, which one do you do if you if you make guitars? I'm gonna do this again. I don't want to put too much, but I don't want to put too little. Well, look at that. I didn't want to get glue on the very end. Kids coming down. What y'all doing? Close that door. All right. I hope that's enough. I'm just gonna go straight down on it. And get these bolts in there. I'm gonna have trouble whenever I'm trying to do this, right? Ooh. Look at this. You know, I checked the tightness on my last guitar, the bolts, recently. I just reached up in there and felt they were still tight. They were still plain tight. They hadn't, didn't feel like they had backed out, backed off at all. I've got a clamp double stick taped to that, a call double stick taped to that to get over the upper transverse bar. Look at this. Look at this. I mess up. Okay, there comes the glue squeeze out. Can you play outside? Just for a little bit, okay? It's almost dark. Open that door. Hey, go down and close that door. Go down and close the door. Well, you're gonna have to go find them for a second. I gotta work on this for a second, okay? Oh yeah, that's some good good squeeze out right there. What is this? It's a magic box. If you open it up. You'll find your dreams inside. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I just left the uh, camera rolling. I'm gonna keep checking this uh, maybe a couple, a few more times just to make sure I didn't miss any squeeze out anywhere. Well, it's been overnight and it's been all day. I'm back from work and I'm ready to take this clamp mouse trap off of here. See what it looks like. So, uh, just looking initially, I can't see any dried glue that I missed. All right, a little crusty glue underneath the fretboard extension. Otherwise, hey, you know what? It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It definitely looks better than my last guitar. It's laying flatter. It's flat. Like I can't see any gaps. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do right now but to go ahead and start on the bridge. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. You know, this is the traditional Martin shape on top right here. 
I didn't want to do exactly the same shape. That's what I did on my first guitar because that's what I made was a OM copy, basically. But I don't know what the rules are for how wide a bridge needs to be, like from wing to wing. I think I may try to keep that same measurement this way, but I may change something up here just with the way. I may come down a little bit farther here on the bottom, do more, I don't know, just a sharper curve in. I, I really don't know. I'm just going to see what happens, I guess. But we need to get one side flush. Something about that sound that's just satisfying. Okay, like I said, I don't really know what I want to do, but I may keep the same dimension here. Maybe I'll keep the same the same thickness, you know, from, from here to here. So I guess I want to figure out what I want to do here. So if I bring this down a little bit farther. I'm just drawing it out. I don't like that. I know I don't like that automatically. Definitely don't want to do that. Okay, so let me just work on this a little bit and uh, try to figure something out. Yeah, just an update. I want to show you where I'm at. I've spent about 30 minutes um, with this. I kind of traced along the sides and the top of it. And then I came down a couple of more blocks here. I had all straight lines and tried. I wanted to make sure I wasn't too close to the holes and tried to draw in like kind of where the saddle slot will go. And I've used all manner of little round things to draw circles and stuff like that. Ended up rounding over the bottom. Then I had to decide, well, I need to make sure it fits inside my saddle routing slot jig. And it does. So it fits in there. So this looks okay to my eye so far. So I drew a, a center line. So, But I want to see what it looks like on the guitar. So I need to cut this out, maybe make a quick template. And then hold it up to my guitar and see if I like it. And then go from there. Yeah, just another update here. I You can see that I cut that shape out that I drew. Cut it in half. Traced it onto a template. And I've got this piece here. So now I can place it on my bridge blank. I've got this side planed. And I just sanded this side flat. I'm just going to butt that right up against the top. So, I've got to cut that out and then use the oscillating spindle sander and just sand it right until that line disappears and then I should have a, a blank to start with. I just had my glasses. Now what in the world? There they are. Okay, so one thing I have not done, one thing that I forgot to do, pay no attention to my hair. It's Saturday, just outside with the kids. A couple of them anyway. Anyway, something I did not do and I forgot to do before I started working on the bridge was to maybe thin it down a little bit and get it closer to where it needs to be. I completely forgot. I've already, you know, shaped it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and check. And I want to cover another mistake that I made right now while we're talking about it. Something that happened that I didn't realize until I had already had the neck attached, okay? You know, the nut is supposed to be five millimeters, at least the way I learned it. So when I had this on here, I used a five millimeter spacer and butt it right up against it. And then I got it centered to my marker back here. And then I, you know, drilled some, some holes to put some little um, pins in so that I can make sure that goes down right. But for whatever reason or what, whatever happened, I don't know, but somehow after I had this attached, I realized I've got this like seven millimeters now. What in the world? So I don't know how this ended up to seven millimeters. I must have somehow shifted it somehow. So I'll have to figure out what to do for that whether it's a thicker nut or some kind of spacer decorative something between the head plate and the nut i don't know i haven't decided about that yet but anyway it is what it is so my bridge mark here that i have marked on the bridge will actually move down a couple of millimeters which i can't remember if i marked that for compensation or not i, I mean i'm going to recheck and everything before i tape off the bridge but anyway i'm just going to put this down and then i'm going to put this on top and see where i'm at the bridge is too thick by probably a couple of millimeters. I know I'm thick anyway, but I wanted to just cover that and just tell you that I, yeah, I got this somehow got the nut slot a little bit thicker, and somehow I, you know I forgot to you know thin down the bridge a little bit before starting. 
I may be able, to be able to sand off a couple of millimeters just by getting the radius on the bottom of it. So I may just do that. It may take a little longer, but whatever. I bought this thing from my last guitar build. It's a convex radius dish, a little small one. It's got a 30 foot radius on it. I'm using it to put the radius in the bottom of the bridge. I'll put a link to where I got it in the description box below, but it hadn't come in in time to be able to use it during my last guitar build. It took a little while for it to ship. They got different options for different radii. You can get, you know, whatever radius you want to get. But I'm going to go ahead and give this a go. All right, I'm done putting the radius on the bottom and it matches up really good. I'm checking again and I've already done this, but I'm putting it back on here because if I slide this up, it just barely touches. So I think by the time I, you know, put the radius on the top and sand it and all that stuff, I should be in a good spot. If I need to get any more out of it, I can just sand the bottom radius a little bit more. All right, it's been a week since that last clip, and uh, I just want to kind of catch up where I'm at. Really nothing has changed much with the bridge, except that it's just a little bit thinner. My problem, my mistake was that I did not thin it down before I started shaping it and working on it. I just took the blank and immediately just started cutting pieces out, and it was just, just too thick. I don't know if you know this, but it takes a long time to sand off even a half a millimeter. You, you saw in the last clip I used that convex radius dish to establish the radius. So after I established the radius with the convex sanding radius dish, I put a piece of sandpaper on my guitar and I've been kind of just finessing the radius. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna just sand for a little while. I'll, I'll get about as much as I need to off just by doing this. Well, it's not working, it's taking forever. And, uh, and when I place this down here and place the straight edge, it's still hitting the top. It's not clearing the top and it's taking forever. So what I've decided to do is to go ahead and just take my plane and just try to get closer. What I've done is I've marked about a millimeter down from the top here and here, and I'm just gonna use my plane to at least get me close. <laughs> Just another side note about this bridge design. After looking at it enough, I've just decided I don't like this flat spot here. Thought it'd be nice to have, cool to have a little flat spot. Well, I don't like it. So what I've done is I've taken a lid of something and I've just drawn up against it. So I'm gonna shave up to that pencil line. I'm just gonna trim that whole corner off and I think I'll like it better. I hope it looks okay anyway, I think it will. But also I've got to shave off this thickness here. Of course, it's gonna taper down. Before I do any more, I'm gonna go ahead and trim those corners off. And there you go after a quick trip to the disc sander. Okay, so it's clearing this, the bridge now. Maybe 64th of an inch. I think some people say that that's good. Some people say it needs a little more. I think I was at about a millimeter over on my first guitar. I think I need to go just a little bit more. You know, I wonder if I just sand the top and get it good. By the time I get done sanding, it might be okay. So I might try to do that instead of taking the plane to it again. I don't want to take off too much. I guess you can tell by my posture that uh, things did not... <sighs> Gosh, things just suddenly took a turn for the worst. I'm so irritated right now. You can see I got the oscillating spindle, uh, spindle sander out. But what it, oh my gosh, I was trying to reestablish the wings and I was just doing it by hand, which was working fine. I was just holding this up to it, bumping it on there, getting this down to the final thickness that I wanted it at. And so just maneuvering this thing around, somehow I just did boop. I just popped the back corner right there. Good grief. I mean, so I thought when I did that, I thought, well, oh, I hate it, but maybe I can just cut this down a little bit and 
reshape that. So then for whatever reason, I just continued on and I just, I was going to sand this right here. And for whatever reason, I had it backwards and just started sanding. So now I'll sand it off the back, which needs to be perfect against the back of the guitar. And I'm at almost that final thickness with the bridge. To get past those points, I will be too thin with the bridge. Now I have to start over. I got to order a new blank, wait for that to come in, remake the bridge. Of course, I'm going to, I'm going to shave it first and then make it. It really didn't take that long to get to this shape. What's the longest part is the radius, the back. But I am really upset. I'm irritated. But it is what it is. I made a mistake and it's a lesson learned. So I guess that's the good thing. Can't get mad. It's only my second guitar and the third bridge I've made. Third bridge, what are you talking about? Well, you know, if you've not seen my first guitar build, I had to remake the bridge on it too. And it's hanging up right back there on the wall. So I guess I'll hang this one right next to it. <laughs> what's, what's next? Okay, what's next? Let's talk about that. What's next is I got the final sand of guitar. I've got a tape off for the bridge once I get it made. I'm going to tape off the fingerboard and I'm going to apply finish. I'll talk about the finish that I decided to use in the next video. I, I do have the finish in. It just came in in the mail. So I'm not doing the same kind of finish I did on the last guitar. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit different. But that's it for this video. I'm really bummed out. I hate to end, end the video like this. You know, now let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. I think it looks really good. I actually like the, the design. I'll put it up on the screen. Again, I, what I did before I started making it is I did look up a couple of pictures of bridges. I looked up some of the big builders that I know about on Instagram and just verified that I wasn't about to do something that they're doing. Okay, I don't want to, like I talked about in my last video, I don't want to steal somebody's design or make it look like I'm trying to copy somebody. I tried to be as organic as, about it as I could, just cutting off a little bit here, shaping, erasing the line, drawing. I tried to do this organically to make it come from something of my own doing and not some copy of somebody. You know what I mean? So anyway, if I, I hope that I'm not taking somebody's design. If I am, I sincerely do not mean to do it. But anyway, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around and we'll catch up again in the next video. Okay. Bye.